Hi guys, today we're going to simplify expressions that do not have the same bases, that have different bases. So for example, 4 to the 5th power is being multiplied by 2 to the negative 3rd power. So if you know the multiplication law of exponents, you know that when you're multiplying with exponents, if there's the same base, you can keep it and just add the exponents. However, here we have two different bases. So one thing that you can try to do when you're given an expression like this is you can see if you can change one of these bases into the other one, right? So if one of these bases is a power of the other one, we can rewrite it. So I know that four is a power of two. Four is the same thing as two squared, okay? So I'm gonna replace the number four with two squared. I'm gonna write it as two squared instead. And now I can't forget about this five. I'm gonna bring down that exponent of five. Right? And I'm going to bring down the rest of my expression times 2 to the negative third. So now what I've done is I've converted the 4 so that it does have the same base as my other expression. And now I can almost apply the multiplication law of exponents. What I have to do first is I see that I have a power being raised to another power. So in case you don't know it yet, over on the left, raising a power to another power, the rule is a to the n being raised to the n power is going to equal a to the n times m, meaning if you have an exponent being raised to an exponent, multiply them, okay? And just to show you really quickly why that's true, if I take 2 to the second and I write it out 5 times being multiplied by itself, it's 2 to the second times 2 to the second times 2 to the second, and you see very quickly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that if you apply MLE here, because now they do have the same base, my base is 2, and what does MLE say to do with the exponents? add them all up, right? So if I add up 5 twos, I'll get 10. So just an explanation of why we multiply the exponents. So 2 to the 2 to the 5th turns into 2 to the 10th power. So now I have 2 to the 10th power being multiplied by 2 to the negative 3rd power. And now I can keep my base and add my exponents 10 plus negative 3 to get 7. So all of this simplifies to 2 to the 7th power, okay? So one more time, if the bases are different, you want to see if you can get them the same. So getting them the same means trying to rewrite one of them as a power of the other one. 4 is the same as 2 squared. So I'm just substituting. Instead of writing 4, I'm writing 2 squared because I need a 2. And they're the same exact thing. And then I'm bringing down that 5. I apply power to power, which tells me to multiply my exponents. And now I can multiply the expressions because they have the same base. Let's do a division one because the same thing will apply with division. So let's say we've got 27 to the fourth power divided by 3 to the third power. So we're looking at the 27 and the 3. They're not the same. And we're thinking about can we rewrite one as a power of the other one? So I start thinking about my powers of 3 and I quickly realize that 27 is the same thing as 3 cubed. Right? 3 times 3 times 3 gives me 27. So that means that instead of writing 27, because it's equivalent, I can write down 3 cubed. Right? 3 cubed and 27 are the same thing, so I can replace one with the other. Now I can't forget about this 4, so I'm going to bring that 4 over here. I'm going to bring over my denominator 3 cubed. And now again, I have a power being raised to another power, so I apply my power to power rule in blue, and I multiply those exponents to get 3 to the 12th power over 3 to the third power. Now you can apply your division law of exponents because you have the same base. You can keep it. Take your exponents and subtract them. 12 minus 3. I get 3 to the ninth power as my answer. Okay? Um, one other thing that you can do if the bases are not the same. Let's say I had um, 2 to the fifth power being multiplied by 3 to the fifth power. Do you see what the problem is going to be if I try to change one of these bases right now? I can't write 3 as a power of 2, right? And I certainly can't write 2 as a power of 3. Um, but there is something nice in this problem that grants me an exception. See how they have the same exponents? Because they have the same exponents, even though I can't rewrite this, I can't rewrite 3 as 2 to the something, what I can do is I can actually multiply these bases, 2 times 3, and raise their product to the fifth power. So this is the same as 6 to the fifth power. So if the exponents are the same, then you can multiply the bases, if we're multiplying, of course, divide if you're dividing, and keep the exponent what it was, okay? And if we want to see why this is, let's expand this out. So 
2 times 2. I should have used smaller numbers, but okay. So now I know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that by the commutative property and associated properties, I can move these expressions around, right? So I can change this, instead of writing all the 2's together and all the 3's together, I can write this as 2 times 3 in one parenthesis, right? There they go. And then 2 times 3 in another parenthesis. And keep going, and hopefully you see what I'm doing now. When I rearrange it in this order, you can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parentheses of 2 times 3, and of course, each parentheses with a 2 times 3 is a 6. Right? So each of these 6's are getting multiplied by each other, so all of this ends up being 6 to the 5th power. But, instead of doing all that work, if you recognize that it's the same exponent, multiply the bases, 6, and keep that exponent, 5. Okay? If you want some practice problems, if you're my student, of course, bring them to me for overtime. If you're not my student, um, if you want to send me the answers and I have time, I'll check for you. If not, bring it to your teacher. I'm sure they'll appreciate the extra work. So there's two practice problems for you to try.